Last week I happened, I was in Israel. I told him, is there any lesson for us to take? And it was a very interesting comment that the RNSA made. He said, you should be prepared for a surprise. But then he added, he said, if you are prepared, then it's not a surprise. Last week I happened, I was in Israel, and of course we were talking about the Israeli wars and others. So, during my discussion, of course, not with the, with the, with the Prime Minister Netanyahu and others, but besides that, when I was talking to the professionals of my districts, they are chiefs of various services and others, I told them, is there any lesson for us to take? And it was a very interesting comment that the RNSA made. He said, you should be prepared for a surprise. But then he added, he said, if you are prepared, then it's not a surprise. So he said, that all the past conflicts, Ukraine was surprised what Russia did, but the Russia was surprised what had happened to it. But then after that, I think, even the, both of them were surprised about each other, nobody knows what they are heading for. Probably Russia thought initially that it would be a cakewalk, it wasn't. But Russia, uh, Ukraine thought that with so much of a gro uh, sanctions and the global pressure and all these preparations can be tamed and others, but that didn't happen. How do we prepare if I say that there is a thing for a surprise, for something that will happen to you that you cannot think of? Who is prepared for that? Only a people with a certain mindset are prepared for that. And you have to inculcate that habit. Who can take smart decisions in real time? If you have got the capacity to take the spot, real this thing, whatever the consequences might be, and whatever explanations and answers you have got to give it to the thing, you will be able to face the surprise. It cannot be predicted, so you cannot always be prepared. And since you will not be prepared, the first thought that comes to you in your mind, if you are prepared mentally and you have trained yourself mind and if you are totally a professional this thing, you will find that it is your gut feeling. It is your instinct that matters and that instinct is not something which is non-scientific. It is a highly scientific thing that comes with a tremendous amount of in-depth study, in-depth experience, in-depth vision, a lot of uh, this thing. That sort of instinct will have to be developed amongst our leaders. And the leadership of the defense forces, which is the most important decision, we have to take the decisions on the spot, the quick decisions. How can we develop that sort of an instinctive decision for us?